But there's that one little issue hanging over all of our heads. Right. The whole Raspberry Clan. Yeah. Is Clan okay? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> not, in the, not in the context you're using it. What do you mean? And that issue, of course, is the black sheep brother. Shut up. Now, there's Ryan, who is a great brother. He is in the ministry. He is a minister. Mm-hmm. Whoa. The apple of his father's eye has to be. Mm. Right. And his mother, probably. The favorite. Yes, yeah. I, the favorite. I am in the devil business. Well, okay. of course you are. Yeah. You work you're, with us. Until I started making money at it. <laughs> <laughs> but you still promote the lifestyle that leads to the burning embers of hell. So, well, well, I mean, um, she just I don't admitted. promote that lifestyle. Okay. poker and all this other stuff. This was decades ago. Well, I don't there. believe that was God's tour bus parked in front of your house. I'm just saying. <laughs> Pictures of you. <laughs> you know, we slip up from time yeah, to we time. Do. It's part of the learning yeah, you process. Got to bring a rock star to work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well. Terry Raspberry is his name. He's a weatherman, or was he was had a big job. He was the weekend fill in swing weatherman. Why did he get fired? Um, there was a news story about him last night on TV. I don't know if you saw it. No, I don't keep track of apparently, Terry. Apparently, Florence is is reaching out. Um, you know these sad stories that emerge. It's like somebody you you remember seeing on TV, and they're yeah. like, "Oh my God, what like what happened to them now?" It's like watching that VH1 show. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, like behind the music, right? So they send a reporter over to find Terry Raspberry, who apparently is living in some sort of facility. Oh, I don't God. know. He's if living it's in a facility. Homeless or what the deal is. But um, I think we have that news story here. Florence weatherman Terry Raspberry seemed to have it all a great following, a great job at WJXM, and the surname of a Florence broadcasting legend. I started drinking a bit, fell on tough times. <laughs> I reached out to my sister, the famous Kelly Raspberry from Kid Craddock in the morning. And unfortunately, she has uh, washed her hands of me. Hmm. Jerry says he hasn't talked to his sister in months, and she ignored his plea for help when his son came down with a disease after eating a grasshopper. It's not funny. That grasshopper was still alive when he swallowed it. Even when he was digesting it all the way down to the colon, you could still feel it jumping around in there. (laughs) It was a big family crisis, and I asked Kelly for help, but apparently she was too busy, and that led me to drinking and doing bath salts and now I'm homeless. <laughs> Jerry says he hopes to come back to TV soon but more than anything, he holds out hope that one day he can reunite with his famous sister, Kelly Raspberry. Bob for Apples, WJXM News. Bob, wow. Bob for Apples. Yeah. Really? Bob for Apples. Really? Bob for Apples. Bob for Apples. <laughs> He can't help it. <laughs> Kelly Raspberry. Yeah. I mean, no, Kid Craddock. Yeah, Bob yeah. Frapples. Mm. Frapples. Kelly. You what? should really reach out to your brother, Kelly. Why? Because Hillbilly's <laughs> loving in the hay. Hillbilly's loving in the hay. <laughs> I mean, haven't you seen the follow-up stories to the guy with the golden voice and how his family now has Yeah, Yeah, he's doing really well. How about well. that job? doing better now. You could help him out, Kelly. I could. You could what would you have me do? Adopt his son, first of all. Right. And get him out of rehab. Your nephew. Or in the rehab. Or. Cute little second grader, little Billy. Mm. Just turned 16. <laughs> <laughs>